seems to be filling a void and meeting a need across our nation, and I'm so grateful for that. Many of you identify with this letter I received the other day from Kitchener, Ontario. Let me read it to you. Dear Pastor, I listen to your program quite faithfully and look forward to it. For me, it fills a great void in old-fashioned Bible-based preaching. I've watched other religious programs and the shouting and over-the-top zeal turn me off, as they do a number of my friends. We need your program, your faithful witness, and I am thankful for faith to live by. She goes on to write this, the music is wonderful, sung with the sincerity of God-fearing vocalists. Thank you once more for the uplifting broadcast. And thank you, dear friend, for taking time to write. And there are thousands of people across Canada who identify with your sentiment. Have you written recently to Faith to Live By? If you haven't, perhaps you've already received a copy of my booklet of sermons, Can These Bones Live? Or our newest CD entitled, If That Isn't Love. If you haven't received one or the other of these, I hope that you will find time to write this week and please request the one or the other, whichever you need. I know they will be a blessing in your home and in your automobile and they will warm your heart. I, I do appreciate so many of the good friends who support us, who pray for us, who share the news with their friends that Faith to Live By is available. May I count on a letter from you this week? All the address you need is Faith to Live By, Box 426, Winnipeg, Manitoba, and the code is R3C2H6. In just a moment, my son, Pastor Jim Barber, will bring the message for today. But right now, I want you to listen to Jim and Rick as they team up to sing two beautiful numbers. First of all, Jesus paid it all, and then God loves. <laughs> 